Hey BookTube. Welcome to Tank Top Tuesday. Cheers my friends. Drink one for me, all that good stuff. I'm here to do a review of On the Beach by Neville Shoot. This is a post-apocalyptic post-nuclear war novel. Um, Neville Shute was actually the pen name for Neville Shute Norway. Um, he was an aeronautical engineer <coughs> and uh, some of his uh, designs slash inventions uh, had an effect on uh, the outcome of some stuff in World War II. So I thought that was cool. Uh, this particular version here I think it was first published in 57, but uh, this is the 63 version, and as you can see, the cover is coming off, which uh, is cool and not cool at the same time. So, Okay, so we're in Australia. There's an American present there. They have an operational submarine. They go on excursions to see if there are any survivors and you know I don't do spoilers but uh, for the most part you know every place they go to there's there's no one alive uh, they have a deserter there's a relationship in here between an American and uh, this Australian lady they uh, pull their cars with horses, or rather, <laughs> they 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 have some functioning motor vehicles um, because somebody put some petrol back, and uh, so they try to enjoy uh, what's left of humanity. <clears throat> the problem is that they kind of have a less than a year as far as their window is because something else is on its way. Uh, so they're pressed for time, and their options are, you know, suicide or just dealing with what's coming. So, uh, gave it four stars. Did not expect uh, there to be, you know, a lot of rejoicing at the end of this book. But if there was a full-scale nuclear war between the U.S., Russia... China, uh, the outcome probably wouldn't be that positive, so, um, yeah, it wasn't bad, I mean, for the time that it was written, uh, kind of enjoyed it, so, that was it, that was my brief review, um, actually, <clears throat> I think I'll do something different for my next Tank Top Tuesday. And a couple people have asked me to uh, read this. And uh, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to try to do it without uh, crying. <laughs> but this is a, uh, just, uh, I wouldn't even call it a poem. I, it's, it's kind of poetic. That I wrote back when I was in college, and it's uh, it was published in Kudzu magazine, and it's called The School. So I'm going to read that next Tuesday and see if I can uh, get through it. Somebody dared me, so actually somebody asked me if I would. I said, "Oh, you want to see me cry, don't you?" So I'm gonna try it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, my friends. Cheers. Drink one for me. Give this video one finger up. All that stuff. Um, <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.